Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'm going to show you my razor, talk about him and tell you how you can raise your own razor and make him a good boy. I'm going to talk about what weapons that you can give him, what artifacts you can put on him, his team compositions and how to play him in general. I have had razor in constellation 5 for a long time. Uh, that was the main reason I first raised him but then I realized that he actually could be a really good main DPS. The weapon I'm using for him is Serpent Spine. Uh, you don't really have to use Serpent Spine with him. Serpent Spine is a great uh, claymore for everyone. It is just the general idea of Serpent Spine is good. But what you can use with him are Snow Tomb Star Silver if you have enough damage but don't have enough physical damage bonus. You, at least you don't think so that you don't have. If you have Prototype Archaic which is the best for star weapon that you can craft for most claymore characters. Of course it falls beside that. Other than that if if you are just a beginner, the weight club would work if you are using him as a burst and E DPS, like not a main DPS but as a side DPS you can use at the beginning of the game Blight Bloodstained Grace Sword and I guess that's mainly it. Oh yeah, you can all also use Skyrider Grace Sword. And how you make Snow Tomb Star Silver is that you go to you go to Dragon Spine, there are a lot of things that you need to do in order to unlock it. Of course I'm not going to ramble about it right now but what I would suggest you to do is look at the guide to do it because it is not a bad great sword by any means. It is also a good great sword for Eula but right now we are not going to talk about it uh, because I don't own Eula and I don't know what would be good for her. Also for 4 star weapons Rain Slasher is not bad if you obviously are using him as a support DPS. I wouldn't suggest you using him as a support DPS because, and this is kind of sad, that when you use his elemental burst and change into another character, his elemental burst goes away, which makes him very dependent on being the main DPS. Even Diluc, you can change him up uh, when you want him, uh, because after you use his burst, he has select uh, seconds in which his sword will be infused with pyro, but with razor, if you change him, his burst effect is going to be gone, which is kind of sad. Alongside that, you can I think use royal great sword or black cliff slasher on him. Royal great sword is good because uh, whenever you attack, it gives you bonus crit rate, but of course when you crit with it, it takes your crit rate away, but it is usable if you have low crit rate and low attack on a character. I think it is. Uh, it would be good for Razor because uh, Razor actually has very low attack. Black Cliff Slasher is a good alternative for Serpent Spine I believe. Serpent Spine gives crit rate, Black Cliff gives crit damage as a well, substat. A Lithic Blade, I wouldn't recommend it because he isn't a Lyra character. Of course, if you are using him with a lot of Lyra characters, you can use Lithic Blade. Uh, Katsu, I, I am I'm not going to say its name because I cannot pronounce it. Uh, this weapon gives energy recharge as a substat, which isn't really effective for Razor. Okuamoru gives attack percent. You can use it, of course. It is it is not a bad weapon. Yeah, Skyward's Pride is not a good option for him because it gives energy recharge and I don't believe that he needs energy recharge. The Antforge has a lot of attack percent with it, but the thing is its refinement stuff isn't going to be going to affect him. So if you have the Unforged, I believe having him on either Black Cliff Slasher or Prototype Archaic would be a little bit better. The Unforged wouldn't be useful for him. Wolf's Gravestone, obviously. Uh, Red Horn Stone Treasure isn't though. His defense wouldn't matter for him. It still gives a lot of crit damage percent. So I believe that it would be actually good for him. So that's all the weapons I believe. About his artifacts. I think you should go for attack percent here. Physical damage bonus. And crit rate or crit damage. 
whichever is best suitable for your substance on your artifacts. I am using two-piece bloodstain and two-piece pale flame. I believe that is really good, uh, especially if you don't have good enough uh, pale flames. You shouldn't use four-piece bloodstained chivalry because you are not going to do any charge attack with him if you are going to use pale flame for peace uh, you should use his elemental skill a lot which isn't a problem for him you are going to want crit rator and crit damage for his substats of course i still don't have really good substats for him even though my razor is like this he does a lot of damage at least in my opinion I can recommend going for Berksarker 2-piece, two 2-piece two Medal of Brave. If you don't have these, as especially getting Medal of the Brave isn't really easy on low AR. If you don't have it, you can go for 2-piece Sojourner. There isn't a lot of options in the game to use with him especially. Now I'm going to look at his team compositions. With Razor, you are going to want at least one attack buffer. With Razor, you can use Yunjin since Razor's main DPS comes from his auto attacks and Yunjin really exceeded my expectations with her auto attack boost. Bennett as an attack buffer, I wouldn't recommend Kujo Sara. I wouldn't use her with Razor since you most likely have Bennett in your team. If you don't have Bennett or Yunjin, of course, Kujo Sara would be a great deal. But yeah, I don't believe she would be a great deal if you have those other options. I personally used Razor with Bennett and Yunjin at the same time. So first slot is filled with either Yunjin or Bennett let's say. Uh, then you can add a Cryo Inflictor because Cryo and Electro will will give you Superconduct. Now I don't recommend Chong Yun because in order to get Chong Yun's Cryo you are going to have to sacrifice Razor's physical damage which you cannot do because Razor is a physical DPS, so don't use Razor with him. You can use Diona, uh, and if you have Yunjin instead of Bennett, Diona would be really great to heal your party. You can have a uh, Chichi, but I wouldn't recommend it since her cryo application is really slow. You can have Kaya. Kaya would be a great cryo selector in any case, but if you have Kaya and not Diona on the field, Bennett would be a great idea to have to heal your party. Let's say we added Kaya. Then the fourth slot is basically open for anyone. If you want to, you can use a shield character like Zhongli or Noel. If you have Diona, you can still use a shield, duo shield with your team. You can use Albedo, of course. Albedo is a great sub DPS in any case. With Sing Show, I wouldn't recommend Sing Show in this team because while he's a great sub DPS with his burst, his Hydro application would make Razor do electro charge attacks, which is not a great uh, thing in my opinion. Also, of course, you can use Rosaria as a cryo applicator now that I realize that she's there. I'm sorry because. I generally forget that she is there most of the time. But like I said, uh, as a fourth place you can use Kazuha or Vanti if you have him. Kazuha and Vanti are great pullers. Uh, they really suck enemies onto one place and it is a really great experience in my opinion to play Razor with Kazuha. Of course I cannot say anything about Vanti because I don't have him right now. Other than that, I wouldn't recommend Shanhe as cryo applicator because she increases cryo damage and it would be a misuse of her uh, increase. Kamusa Tayato would be not great because she herself is a main DPS. Yula is a physical DPS so her cryo application would be great. Ganyu not great. And I think you can use Yei Miko as the fourth place because she is a great side DPS. Raiden Shogun maybe could be the first fourth place if you are using her as a side DPS too. Other than that, of course, Vanti. You can use Jean, I guess. 
with Razer 2 as the fourth place she would be uh, if you are using Razer with if you are using uh, Yunjin with Razer and Kaya you can use Jean as the fourth place as you are not going to have a healer in the team uh, I wouldn't recommend Barbara that much but if you have no options as a healer you can use Barbara like I said supercharge you don't need supercharge so so to show it I use Razer with Yunjin, Diona and Bennett. The two attack buffers is good for Razer and Diona is just crying up the cater. If I were to change Diona with Kaya, I think it wouldn't make much difference. I think Kaya is actually a slightly better option as a cry applicator uh, from Diona, but I really didn't make my Kaya to best of options. And with this team, I'm going to show you the damage showcase. I think I saw the 30k on Abyss, so it would explain why I didn't really do more than 23k. Still, Razer is a good boy. Love Razer, cherish Razer. And if you liked the video, like and subscribe. I will see you in the future, probably with my Zhongli showcase. Does Manthus wine taste the same as I remember? But where are those who share the memory?